Hello and welcome to this video. This is just a quick video on the best way to open up your potentiometers in your DualShock 4, Xbox, uh, DualSense. I've just watched the video. Let me just walk to this. And I think it was XQ Gaming. They suggest prying them open with a large screwdriver. As you can see on screen, uh, where a blue nub should be, it has popped off. So you start losing locator clips on your tray. And I'll just show you the damage I've done to one that I had laying around. I think I found a better way of doing it. So... Come on, zoom in. Right, there you go. You've got a blue clip that should be at the top next to there. Let me just find this other one. Red side. There you go. The blue clip. Right, let's get them side by side. Come on. There we go. Focus. Come on, you bastard phone. There we are. Two blue clips still on the sides there. What other damage did I do to this one? Oh yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see it on here. The grey pivot guide, I've got to crack all the way through it because once I got it all the way off, I tried to release it from the housing. And at the button, the button end, there's two clips. So I thought, right, if I squeeze that in, I can pop it off, but then it snapped through the top because you've got a third clip at the top. So that's n another way of not trying to get them off. They don't really like to. They're not uh, elasticated or anything. And then in doing the screwdriver in this hole here and prying it open, I cracked the base of the board. It's still usable, I suppose, in some some respect. But And also, what else did I knock off? Right, those two there were the first that got popped off. So that lost both the blue clips there for the side metal. Right, keeping it in. So that will now rely on the side uh, contact and wiper now down in the hole to keep that pressed in. So I'll put more pressure on it. I don't know if that will hurt it, but I lost the side clip here as well when prying with a screwdriver in there, trying to bend that round. And for some reason that went pop. So that now means that this cage is now uh, capable of dropping up or uh, below the board, but I don't know if it ever will. So your locations will be all up. But let's get to the point. The better way of opening these up to clean them or to change the spring tension, let's put it right way up, is to get, right, let's just see if I can do this properly, get yourself a nice tool that can grasp them. This tool here is, why is it not focusing? What is going on with this thing? Right, Nipex pliers wrench, 8603180. Just about the right size. The jaws are slightly wider. Let me just get this on here. What way was it? That way round, that's it. That way round. I will get it on and then I will get a good camera shot on it. Right, here we go. If you get it on. Come on. This is annoying the hell out of me. It's not focusing properly, is it? Oh. Yeah, where the prongs are. If you get yourself a cheapy screwdriver set, you want a 1.4 millimeter wide blade just to get down. The 
flat in that gully. It's really, really narrow. And then you can pry up the, the four prongs gradually against a flat jawed tool. I mean, you can do it with other things. I mean, these ain't cheap. But I have not found a tool that is as good as this tool for such an activity. So, you get all four of your little all four of your little prongs pried up and pressed to the sides and then all you've got to do is push it all back together. You haven't lost any of your plastic clips and strained any of it. Let's just see if this pops apart and I don't lose all the bits on the floor. All right, let's get this up. Mm -hmm. Should just fall out now. Try and just pry it open a bit. There we go, it's coming. Oh, there we go. That's out. Camera work, camera work, come on, tilt up. There we go. Baseball off. Stay in there, stay in there. Pins are still attached, so you can get a swab in there, clean all your grit out. I did put a blob, blob of petroleum jelly in there and then do some GTA 85. I'm not sure on that petroleum jelly, I'm not sure that will do it any favours whatsoever, but I just thought I'd wax some in just to see. And then you clean that up, swab that off the bottom. Pull your little, pull your centre mount pin out. With your spring on, and you can mess about to your heart's content in places that you shouldn't really be. And then, obviously, I can just push it all together, and then I can rotate those little prongs get off my finger rotate them four prongs that I, pr I pried upwards I can rotate them straight back in and this will go back together the way it came apart without any damage and it's all falling apart in my hand uh, right, I'll put that down And I'll clean out all of the crap. There's a little bit of metal flake in there. See, you don't. If you end up, you've got to really have a little look over them. There's a little bit of metal flake. I don't think you can see on the camera work. Let me see if it will zoom. There it is. Little metal flake sitting on the red rotation nub there. So you have to go through them on these old ones and get all the grit and crap out of them. Throw them all back together. But there is a better way. Come on, zoom. There's a better way. I suggest just get yourself some Xbox One Elite the Series 2 control pad analog sticks and put them in there and make your own analog sticks. Or try to adapt their Series 2 sticks to fit in there. I don't see any problem with them going into a DualShock 4. The Dust Cup radials. Let me see. Where are they? Come on. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we have. That is a traditional DualShock 4 cup. This is a traditional Xbox One cup for its clearances. Let's try to show you now. There you go, pushing it tight to my thumb. 
the Xbox One on the right is a slightly smaller hemisphere. So, it should all work out in a dual shock. I'm not sure on the dual sense. <clears throat> Uh, right. Oh, this was a pain in the bum. What I'm talking about, make your own. I, I mean make your own. And that is extreme. It's very extreme. I won't go into it. It's all top secret stuff. Anyway, um, that's it, guys. To get these apart without destroying them, fold up the four little tabs, not prize out the sides because it will just destroy your boards destroy the workings the gubbins and it will leave all of the metals live floating outwards without their little depth stop pins and things like that probably doesn't matter as much they're more of a clip in system than they are a depth stop except on this side they're a depth stop they still have the depth stop on the first side that the video guide pried off but I don't it's just not it's not worth the hassle this camera is really not in my favor thanks for watching this bodged up update on them